Out of the Cave to Become Man, Journaling History by Doug Ferguson. Available on Amazon in ebook or paperback. Now it is known that the Sahara was not a desert 15,000 years ago. Why would this be? 15,000 years ago was during the Ice Age. This would mean that the sea levels would be up to 450 feet lower than they are today. Also, the wind patterns would not be the same as today. What would the shape of the atmospheric cells of the Earth be? In each of the hemispheres, there are basically three atmospheric cells with an intertropical convergent zone separating the north and southern atmospheric zone hemispheres at approximately the equator. Each of these atmospheric cells recirculates air from the lower to higher altitudes in their specific zones. This action causes the specific trade winds for each cell zone and creates jet streams at higher altitudes. When the atmospheric cell is compressed, the energy of the air movement in the cell is compressed into a smaller volume. Since the atmospheric cell's height remains mainly constant, whether narrow or wide, the amount of energy transporting the air from upper and lower altitudes in the cell stays basically the same. When compressed, the cell becomes supercharged by increasing the atmospheric de energy density so the energy released in storms would be of a higher intensity and their occurrence would be more frequent. During this time, the atmospheric circulation cells would be radically different in size when the polar cells of the polar cell of the Earth were huge. The Farrell and Hadley cells would be compressed. The compression of the cells would increase the density of the atmospheric energy and the storm's gender would be much more common and more destructive. The compressed feral cell would, during this time, lay across most of what we call the Sahara Desert. Both the feral and the Hid Hidley cell would be squeezed to half the bandwidth of what they are now. The increased altitude of Africa because of the lowering of the sea levels caused by the huge glaciation of the northern latitudes combined with the change in air circulation cells would create the trade winds from the Atlantic going over most of what is now considered the Sahara. This air high in moisture content rising an extra 400 feet in altitude created significant precip precipitation over this now desert. Because of this the Sahara became a rich savanna during the Ice Age. During this time, the plentiful and diverse wildlife of this tropical savanna would inspire mankind to create art of the fauna found in the area, including the hippopotamus, which were drawn in the caves of the Sahara savanna, but now are marooned in the desert.